son of the famous American actress. His eyes, they're looking through me. You're not angry with me, are you? You're in so much pain. I, uh... Never speak of this to anyone. Do you understand? I won't. I, I would never. Or I will ruin you. I will destroy you. Am I understood? Now get lost. Terry. Forgive me, Terry. I promise I won't tell anyone. Candy. Candy. Coming. Why didn't you land on the mattress? We're worried about you. We thought you'd come through our balcony. You went to Terry's? I was so worried. I dropped this. Did Terry see you? No, he wasn't there. You're lucky. Had he seen you, you'd be put in the isolation cell. He's not a tattletale. He's actually pretty cool, Archie. How do you know, Candy? Besides, who cares? Candy's here. That's what matters. But the controller is broken, so tomorrow... Oh no, it's Eleanor Baker. Oops, uh, must have fallen from under the mattress. Under the mattress? We hid them to evade punishment during inspection. Check out our stash of pigs. And we have more. Sure do. I didn't know you were such big fans of hers. All men are crazy about her. We're trying to see who can get the most pictures of her. We saw her on Broadway once with Aunt Delroy. We were impressed. On the way home from New York, we bought a magazine with pictures of her. You like her too, right, Candy? Why, yes, of course. I have a ton more pictures of her in this box. I place it under my pillow so I can dream of her at night. I adore her in this role. She's amazing. God, I love her little mole. She looks so much like Terry. Her eyes, her lips. Anthony, he's so happy. His tender smile. I thought we left all his pictures in the States. Can I please keep this picture? Yeah, I mean, you don't have any pictures of him, do you? Anthony, soon it'll be May again, my birthday. Like when he gave me the rose he named Sweet Candy. It's 10 o'clock. I have to go. I stayed way too long here. I'll be back tomorrow to hang out. Don't look so sad, guys. Good night. She's the one who seems sad to me. That's just how she is. It's time to call it a night. Archie. I wonder if Candy will ever forget Anthony. I know we won't. How I envy him. I've been jealous of him this whole time. But after being with Annie, I've come to realize my feelings. I think I'm in love. In love with... Are you listening to me? Yup. Candy's not like other girls. I still remember us first meeting. She got deep into my heart so easily. She's so dynamic, so full of life. So happy. I must see her again tomorrow. It'll take me like four days to fix ship again. Why didn't I just toss it when I had the chance? Before scribbling all over it. I had no right to reproach after seeing it. I should have already destroyed it. I'm the one to blame for not having the courage to do so until today. Terry? Oh my, how you've grown. Don't just stand there, come in. You shouldn't have come. No one can know you're mine. Please understand. And don't forget I love you, Terry. Terry, you are a Grandchester. Promise you won't tell anyone I'm your mother. What did I come here for? What was I thinking? What for? Just to see her. What compelled me to see that woman? At least I got to see her. I knew this would happen. I didn't think you were coming back. So you really are the son of that no-good American woman? Countless Grandchester. Your face is starting to resemble that of a pig. Pig face? How dare you? You'll never be an heir. Darling, I don't want that boy living here. Only our children have the right to bear your name. Father, Count Grantchester, you won't scold me. You won't even speak to me. I can't understand how that woman fell in love with you. And as for me, I love nothing. My rosary, my Ardley medallion, and your photo. These are my three treasures. Objects full of memories. Moments to which I cannot return. If only we hadn't gone fox hunting. If the trap hadn't been there. It's a horse. I can hear it running. Anthony, 
Don't do it. Don't ride that horse. Don't do it. Don't ride that horse. <gasps> Candy. Anthony, don't mount that horse. Sister Margaret, wake up. Quickly now. It's very late. What's going on with you? Candy, I need the key to the infirmary right away. She fell down the stairs. Go ahead. I'll let Mother Superior know. Anthony. Anthony. She keeps saying that name. And Terry brought her here. Terry, are you sure? Where did he go? Looks like he went out the window. She has only minor injuries. What were you doing up at three in the morning? I actually fell asleep at lights out, but then I began dreaming, I suppose. Dreaming of birds, were you? Um, no, uh, I was an angel flying across the sky. And so Terry found you after you fell down the stairs? Terry found me? Well, be more cautious. Especially when asleep. Can you walk to your room? I think so, sister. So Terry brought me to the infirmary. It wasn't Anthony, but Terry. I felt a hand wipe away my tears. Whose tender hand was on my cheek? Terry. What now, Miss Candy? N nothing. I'm, I'm feeling rather well. I'm, I'm fine. She had me worried, but Tarzan Freckles is no damsel. Anthony. She called his name out twice. Who could he be? Hey, Candy. Hey, Patty. It seems nobody knows about yesterday. Annie, what is she knitting? It's the first time I see her this way. You seem so uncomfortable around Eliza, but today you seem very happy. What are you making? I know. It's a hanky for Archie, right? I figure since his birthday is coming up, Archie, you mean Archibald Cornwell? Yeah, he's always with Candy, you know. How could she, when she knows how Annie feels about him? Quite please. I've got news about the fest. The May Festival? When is it? Who's Flower Queen? Be quiet. You know the festivals are in May and in October. Candy, this'll be a fast fest. It's the only time we get to be free. You'll love it. Girls born in May will be Flower Queens this year. Marie, Annie, Julie. May, I have two anniversaries in May. One with Annie, one with Anthony. Our birthdays are when they found us. The day we met will be your birthday. Hey Candy, did you hear that? They said your name. The Queen's dresses are marvelous. How perfect that you were born in May. God, not her. Flower Queens ride on the mobile and boys follow on foot, each with a bouquet for them. Everyone dresses their best for the ball at dawn and we even get to choose our night. Our night? What am I thinking? Terry's not the type to go to a ball. And we can invite outside people, too. Really? I'll invite Albert and Uncle William. I would love to see Uncle William. Not only did he adopt me, he's given me so many opportunities. And now I can show him I've become a lady. Uncle William, my savior. I can never thank him enough. He's probably older than Aunt Elroy, perhaps with a beard and walking stick. And Mr. Albert will be there. I must act ladylike. I'll be his companion at the ball, after all. I cannot wait. I must send out the invites quickly. Dear God, may they both show up. Amen. I still have some free time before dinner. I'd like to see Terry and thank him for yesterday. And let him know I would never reveal his secret to anyone. Candy, we need to talk. Later, I have to go now. To Archie's room? Nope, to a magical place you know nothing about. You're such a liar. How can an orphan even know she was born in May? You have no right to be Flower Queen. Wanna see my birth certificate? It states I was born in May. It's like I said, she's always lying. You're just jealous because you don't get to be flower queens. If you want, I can ask for you to be queens of dead flowers. Surely you'll look splendid. Well then, I'm glad we had this talk. Hooray for the festival. I can't stand her. Where is she going? She has to be hiding something. When I find out, I'll tell Mother Grey and she'll be expelled. Yes. Does that seem deep enough? For sure, it's huge. Good enough. No doubt. This is the only path to the stables. You'll pay for what you did, Terrence. He's not at Fake Ponies Hill. He must be at the stables. Terry, when I first saw him, his eyes were so very sad. Anthony was so joyous and tender to me, so happy. Terry seems angry and depressed. I need to speak to you, Terry. I want to see you again. What is she doing? I'm sick of waiting for her to do something stupid as usual. 
There is Riding Jacket. He must be nearby. Eliza, what is she up to? I know she'll make a scene if she sees me and Terry together, so I must be careful. So, I'm not a good singer, but here it goes. La la la, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. La la la, I'm sorry. Freckles won't say a word to anybody. I promise. Please believe me. Oh, she's tone deaf. La la, Tarzan like Freckles. Baby, baby, la la la. Candy. What a moron. I've wasted my time on the crazy, stupid, not to mention, tone deaf idiot. Ah! Somebody help me. I'm dying. Help. Watch where you're going, Eliza. Who's there? Stop talking and help me out. Are you always this rude to people who are helping you? Shut up and get me out of here. Say please. You're the school hoodlum. I don't want to touch your dirty hands. Okay then, you're sleeping here tonight. You must love the outdoors. Fine, take my hand. Up. Oh, boy, you're heavy. Glad to see you're safe at last. Your Majesty? I'm sure you're the one who dug the hole. That's how you thank me? You are sadly mistaken. You know that loser Neil? He dug it. That's impossible. Neil's not like you, a dirty hooligan liar. You're a character. Can anybody stand you? Terrence, what a cretin. But I must admit, he's a nobleman with a castle near here. And there's no nobility in the States. If he insists, I'll let him dance with me at the ball. Can I come by your room later on, Candy? Of course, Patty. I also have to go to Steer and Archie's tonight. I'll show you my treasure. Tell me what it is, Patty. Well, I'll give you a hint. Since I grew up an only child, I had no one to speak to but the bads. After I enrolled here, I thought I'd die of loneliness. I could hardly make any true friends. My treasure gave me relief. You'll be the first to see it. It must have been very difficult for you to live here, Patty. I wonder what she's gonna show me. Patty, so shy and reserved. The first friend I've made since I got here. I should clean my room before she gets here. Candy, sorry about yesterday. Steer broke the messenger ship and needs about four days to fix it. I'll let you know when it's ready, Archie. Their lights are still on, so are Terry's. Archie'll dance with Annie. I should introduce Steer to Patty. And as for me, Patricia O'Brien. Patty, what's going on? What did you do? I'm sorry, Mother. Please forgive me. Take that outside and dispose of it now. No. I was going to show you Hurley. I wanted you to meet my friends so badly. Oh, poor Patty. I had no idea she felt so lonesome. To the point of going against regulations. How brave. I thought you were a serious student, Patricia. As punishment, you will be locked in the attic overnight. But I can't leave Hurley. But Mother Grey, Hurley is timid and frightened, much like me. He won't survive. Do as I say and dispose of it. I'm sorry, Hurley. If only I hadn't dropped you in the hallway. Stay calm, Patty. Go back to your rooms, all of you. Right now. You're supposed to be in bed already. Mother, is it really necessary to dispose of Hurley? The rules are clear. No animals on school grounds. That filthy turtle has no place in a dorm room. Hurley may be a filthy animal to you, but he means a world to Patty. Can't you see that? Candy, no. Why don't you ask her why she even has a turtle in here? Always with the rules. No wonder we feel no compassion in the school. No warmth. Hush. That's quite enough. You don't know a thing about love. How can you love your fellow man if you don't love animals? And where exactly should we dispose of Hurley? He won't be able to find food or water. Should we just leave him to die? Hurley. The rules are the rules and we must respect them. Now move it. Toss it out. You're nothing but a decrepit old hag. Oh. Oops. Candy Oddly, I order you to the isolation cell, and I forbid you from attending the May Festival. You will join Patricia O'Brien in the attic, and you'll stay there until the festival is over. I'll miss the May Festival, but I invited Albert. Oh no, and what about Uncle William? He'll be so disappointed in me. Candy, apologize to Mother Grey. Would she even accept my apology? Am I even sorry? Should I? I didn't do anything wrong. God says we have to love animals too. Mother Grey? I don't want to hear another word. I have no intention to apologize, but I must admit it was rude of me to call you decrepit, even though I meant it. Uh... You've crossed the line. Now go to the attic, both of you. Immediately. And not another word. One night for Patty. As for you, you won't come out until the festival is good and over.
have never seen Mother Grey so upset. What did you two do? It's all my fault. I'm the one who got Candy in trouble. Eh, hey, don't say that, Patty. I've always wanted to visit the infamous attic. Oh, Candy. <laughs> Patty, this is your cell. And Candy will be next door. Now hand me the turtle, Patty. Sister, please, no. Patty will take him to a safe place. Sister, please, let me handle this. I promise to take the turtle off school property. It won't cause any more problems. I beg you, sister. All right. I'm trusting you, Candy. Please get him out of here, though. Don't you worry. Mr. Albert will take care of you, Hurley. I'll hand you over on the day he comes to the May Festival. <gasps> but I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in here. I'm sure Albert will laugh it off when I get out. Not Uncle William. When he finds out his adoptive daughter is incarcerated, it'll break his heart. I have three days to go. What'll I do? Hurley, you're up. Hi. I get why Patty is so fond of you. I'm sure Patty spoke to you when she was sad. You don't say much, do you? I like you, Hurley. You're my pal. They're preparing for the festival. Hurley, are you female or male? Either way, let's dance. And one, two, three, one, two, three, let's waltz. Spin around, there you go. Ow! Oh no, I broke the window. Hurley, how about we get some air? It's May, all right. Inspection isn't till later tonight. I've got plenty of time. Candy! What's up with you, Annie? I thought I saw Candy running on the roof. That's impossible. She's locked in the attic. How could she be running on the roof? We have to practice our dancing. Louise, you've got someone to be your knight? I sure do. And you? I've got so many to choose from. And since Candy won't be there, Annie will have Archie all to herself. But if she were there, Archie, whom would you choose to dance with? Hey, you. Please, stop. Could you please take me to the zoo? Yes, but it'll cost you, dear. I know. I got it. I'll ask Mr. Albert to pay my fare. That stone you're holding seems very special to you. Oh, it is. Hurley's hiding his leg so he looks like a stone. A balloon vendor, street musicians, and a little boy with a huge lollipop. You're acting as if you're from the country, love. I just escaped from jail. Juvenile delinquents are becoming more prevalent, it seems. What bad luck. But she looks so kind. Could she be a criminal? Maybe she plans to hit me with that stone and rob me. Here we are, young lady. Thank you. I'll just be second. I have to fetch my friends. Friends? That's quite unnecessary. I'll be on my way free of charge. What a generous man. Don't you think, Hurley? Albert? He's on break. He should be in that shock. So that's where he's staying. The cages are nicer than his house. Mr. Albert? Mr. Albert? Come on in. It's me. I've escaped from boarding school. <gasps> Terry! You two know each other? Yes, we're classmates at St. Paul's. St. Paul's two delinquents have both escaped? Hilarious. Delinquents? Candy is mischievous and Terry likes to drink and fight. Then you're the one who helped Terry that night? Yes, I'd be way worse off without him that night. I'd be in the hospital. Except that you mistook the boys' dorm and instead took me to Candy's room. I did? To Candy's room? So that's why Candy ran out to get medicine. She and I went to the pharmacy together. I didn't know you were a fighter too. I'm pretty used to that kind of thing. So you're just as trouble a youth yourself. And I probably will be for the rest of my life. Me too. <laughs> there he is smiling. He's smiling so tenderly. He's so different. So Candy, what brings you here today? Uh, yes. It's about Patty's turtle. Could you take it? Hurley is my best friend's friend. Yes, of course. No problem. I'll take good care of him. Thank you. Albert, break is over. Sorry. I have to get back to work. I'll leave you two here. Okay. I had so many things I wanted to say to him. Where do I begin? My heart is pounding. Candy. Let's go outside. Okay. There are lots of people out here. Families, lovers out on a picnic. I wonder how we appear to them. Like siblings? Or maybe a couple? He looks just like you. Even more so with that face you're making. Perry! How dare you? I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Where'd he go? I wasn't going to hit him that hard. Here you go. I thought you left out of fear. No way. Perry started to trust me. I won't bring up Eleanor Baker to anyone. Say, why are you here? Well, I was in detention. How come? Okay, so yesterday? <laughs> it's not that funny. You called her decrepit. Not even I would have dared. Thus now I can't attend the fest. What? Really? You won't be able to attend. It must be ever so much fun. So many flowers, so much food, dancing. Totally. Not to mention cakes this big. It's a pity I can't go. I invited Uncle William and Albert. What's up with you and Albert? 
Uh, we met in America. He saved me when I escaped from the stable. He's always been, and gonna be there for me. He was there after Anthony. Anthony. Lakewood was amazing, and Anthony had a rose garden. It should be in bloom as we speak. Anthony. She also said his name the other day. Who is Anthony? When I first met you on the ship, I thought you were him, because you look so much alike. But you're very different. Anthony's very caring, and he loves roses. Alright, fine. I'm not that type of person. Terry. Taking care of roses. He's a wimp like a girl. Terry! You're so rude. He's very strong. Anthony's a brave person. Oh, is that so? So how's Mr. Rose doing now? Has he abandoned you for his precious roses? Why the face? You know you're not his only rose. Anthony... Anthony fell off a horse. He died. Died? That means the night she fell down the stairs, she was thinking of him. Candy, you really like him. That's pathetic. You better pray he rests in peace. So rude. I won't forgive you this. Do you hear me, Terry? Always with that Anthony. He's dead and will never return. I won't forgive him for calling Anthony weak. Why did he say that? What's wrong, Candy? Did Terry leave? Yeah, what a loser. He's not that bad. He even came here today to thank me. He's a punk loser in my eyes. Did you two have a fight? Let Poppy cheer you up. So cute and fat, too. Poppy's a big girl now. So, did you receive my invite? To the May Festival? I'll definitely be there. I already asked a friend to lend me a suit. Well, you see, I can't go to the festival. Why not? I got in trouble because of Hurley. Well, there's no reason for me to go. I'm sorry. I thought he'd laugh it off, but he seems disappointed. Candy breaks the rules in the name of love because she is an anarchist. She defies authority, has compassion, and stands up for the weak. She thus demonstrates to Patty what it means to have a true friend. Candy is punished allegedly for being disrespectful, but it is actually because she has exposed Sister Grey's hypocrisy. Candy is so fearless in her conviction that she escapes to ensure that the turtle is safe. Like Albert, she truly loves animals. Inadvertently, perhaps, perhaps not, Albert sets up a date at the zoo for Candy and Terry. Terry is immature, so he teases her just to watch her react, but Candy is still so in love with Anthony and that makes Terry mad. The turtle is a catalyst because without it, it is possible that Uncle William would have revealed his true identity at the Mayfest. Candy rompe las reglas en nombre del amor porque es anarquista. Se opone al poder, tiene compasión y defiende a los débiles. Así muestra a Patty lo que significa tener una amiga verdadera. Candy es castigada como si era irrespetuosa, pero en realidad es porque ha expuesto la hipocresía de la hermana Grey. Candy es tan intrépida en su convicción que escapa para asegurarse de que la tortuga esté a salvo. Como Albert, ella realmente ama a los animales. Inadvertidamente quizás, quizás no, Albert organiza una cita en el zoológico para Candy y Terry. Terry es inmaduro, por lo que se burla de ella solo para verla reaccionar. Pero Candy todavía está tan enamorada de Anthony y es su enfada a Terry. Sin la tortuga como catalizador, es posible que el tío William hubiera revelado su verdadera identidad en el festival de mayo. 